Good evening and welcome to St. Aloysius Gonzaga's Grade 9 Information Night for students in Grade 8. We are very excited to present to you St. Aloysius Gonzaga Secondary School this evening. Introducing to you Michael Freitas, St. Aloysius Gonzaga's principal, to say a few words. Welcome parents and guardians, students, teachers, and honored guests. I'm Michael Freitas, and I feel very privileged to be the principal here at St. Aloysius Gonzaga. I would have preferred to be speaking to you face-to-face -face in our school building so that you are better able to get a sense of our programs and what we're all about. However, this pandemic has forced us to do things a little differently, and so I appreciate you viewing this presentation. As parents, I know that when our children are faced with a transition, it is probably more difficult for us. We worry about how they will adapt to the change, will they make friends, will they like their teachers, and most of all, will they be happy? With all the uncertainty of this pandemic, your level of anxiety may be even more heightened, but I want you to rest assured that making sure your children have a good and positive transition is our top priority, and we will always do our best to make sure your children feel safe and welcomed here at Gonzaga. Students, Taking the step from elementary to high school may seem intimidating, but we know that you will adjust and make friends. All we ask of you is to do your best, attend your classes, and reach out if you require help. There are many people here whose job it is to make sure you get the help and support that you need. Over the course of this presentation, you will see the many programs and courses that students can choose from. I want you to keep in mind that there are many options and pathways to select far more than ever existed when I was in school, and all of them have good post-secondary choices. We are living in a different world where jobs exist that did not exist for us. We have a fantastic guidance department whose job it is to explain and guide students through these various options. You will see from this presentation the many programs Gonzaga has to offer, the SHSM, tech courses, extended French, as well as the traditional courses of math, science, and English, to name a few. We have, a great, we have great teachers who will prepare your children for the future. I have always said that our greatest strength as a school are our human resources. We are proud to be a Catholic school that instills Christ-like values. We are invested in the development of your child spiritually, intellectually, and emotionally. We have created a culture of caring here at Gonzaga that can be seen from the care and concern your child receives when they walk into the front door. We focus on knowing your child and their strengths and being there to help and support them. Our goal here is to do our best to make sure that your child has success. As I said before, they have a responsibility to work to the best of their ability, and we have the responsibility to give them every opportunity to reach their potential. For me, the most important thing at the end of these four years is that your children feel accepted cared for, and have accomplished the goals that they have set out for themselves. Please enjoy the presentation and welcome to St. Aloysius Gonzaga.
We begin by acknowledging the land and our responsibility to care for and respect all that creation gives to provide us with life. This land upon which we live, work, and sustain ourselves is the ancestral and treaty land of the Michisaugic and Ashtabek, also known today as the Mississaugas of the Credit, the rightful caretakers and title holders of this land. We also recognize that this land is rich in pre-contact history and relationships, which includes the Anishinaabek and Ongahongwe, and since European contact has and continues to become home for Indigenous and non-Indigenous peoples. As a responsible community, we believe all people are sacred and possess inherent and immeasurable worth and dignity. Colonialism displaced and dispossessed Indigenous peoples of their ancestral lands and continues to deny their basic human rights, dignities, and freedoms. We are committed to the sacrament of reconciliation, making reparations and fulfilling our treaty obligations, duties, and responsibilities as outlined in the Godot Nagarana Dish with One Spoon Wampum. This treaty governs and affirms that we actively maintain mutually beneficial relationships and collectively respect and care for the land, water, animals, and each other in order to guarantee a good life for our future descendants. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, we pray for the grade 8 students as they discern their choices regarding their secondary school education. In considering St. Aloysius Gonzaga Secondary School, may they feel welcomed and inspired as they discover the programs our school has to offer the students and families it serves. We thank you, Jesus, for the staff and students who by your example are committed to making Gonzaga a caring, inclusive, and faith-filled environment for all who attend. Holy Spirit, please grant our future Bulldogs the opportunity to celebrate their gifts and talents and the wisdom to determine how they will nurture and best utilize them as they grow in knowledge and faith. We humbly pray that you encourage us to use all that we offer and learn to do good as we serve the world around us for the greater glory of God. St. Aloysius Gonzaga, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, my name is Sharon Hoban. I'm your Catholic school trustee for wards two and eight in Mississauga. I'm really, really sorry that you can't come into the school for your tour, but I do hope that this virtual tour will give you an idea of all the great things that this school has to offer. And when you come to school in September, I encourage you to get involved in all of the activities that will help enrich your education and guide you to becoming a Catholic school graduate. I wish you the best. Stay safe and God bless. Welcome to your Dufferin Peel Catholic District School Board Secondary School. Today and every day, you have the opportunity to demonstrate in your own way how to learn, lead, and grow with Christ. You are leaders. You are leaders in your school and you are leaders in our community. And you have infinite possibilities to nurture and inspire hope wherever you go. It is you that is changing the world through Catholic education. St. Catherine of Siena said, Be who God meant you to be and you will set this world on fire. Remember who you are. You are the heart of this school. You are the light of Christ, and you are the hope for the world. Shine your light bright, and may God continue to bless you on your journey. Hello, my name is Luz Del Rosario, and I'm your Catholic School Board Trustee for Ward 6 and 11. I'm happy to welcome you to the Grade 8 Open House Secondary School Information Sessions. Your Catholic secondary school principal and teachers prepare a brief information on what to expect when you enter high school. To parents and guardians, thank you for choosing Catholic education for your child. Thank you for attending this virtual open house. 
Good night and God bless. Hello everyone, my name is Marilla Palmisano and I'm one of the Vice Principals here at St. Aloysius Gonzaga. My alpha is O to Z, so for any students with surnames O to Z, I will be your Vice Principal. I'm looking forward to meeting you in the fall. The St. Aloysius Gonzaga school boundaries are from Winston Churchill to the Credit River, 403 to Mount Video, Erin Mills Parkway, Mississauga Road, 401. Your son or daughter must live within these boundaries in order to attend St. Aloysius Gonzaga. If you would like to attend the school and do not live in these boundaries, then you will need to go to your home school and request for a flex boundary process to begin. Hi, I'm Laura De Janeiro, one of the Vice Principals at St. Aloysius Gonzaga. If you have a last name that starts with A to F, I will be your Vice Principal. If you are interested in St. Aloysius Gonzaga's Extended French Program, you must live within the Extended French Boundaries. These boundaries run from the 407 to Highway 10, to the 403 and back up to the 407. If you are interested in any other programs offered at St. Aloysius Gonzaga, you must be directed by your elementary school who will provide you with the information needed to apply to those programs. Hello, my name is Andy Quichin, and I am one of the vice principals here at St. Aloysius Gonzaga. If your last name begins with letter G through to letter N, then I will be your vice principal. Students who live beyond 3.8 kilometers from St. Aloysius Gonzaga may be eligible for transportation both to and from school. Please visit stopr.ca for more information. Hello, my name is Liza Santon, Department Head of Guidance Student Services at St. Aloysius Gonzaga Secondary School. During this part of the presentation, I will share some information to help grade 8 students transition to grade 9. For a student to achieve an Ontario Secondary School Diploma, there are three areas that a student needs to achieve for graduation. One, 30 credits, 18 of which are compulsory and 12 are elective or optional credits. Two, to successfully pass the Ontario Secondary School Literacy Test, which is written in grade 10. And three, to complete 40 hours of community involvement. For graduation, a minimum of 30 credits are needed. 18 of the 30 are compulsory credits in the areas of English, Math, Science, History, Geography, Arts, Physical Education, French, Civics and Careers, and one credit from each of the three groups listed on the right-hand side of this slide. The Ontario School Literacy Test is written in a student's grade 10 year. It is a compulsory standardized test for secondary school students in Ontario who wish to obtain the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. It measures a student's literacy across all subjects up to the end of grade nine. If a student is unable to meet standards in their first attempt, remedial help will be given. And the student can choose to retake the test or take the grade 12 OLC course to meet the OSSLT requirements for graduation. A minimum of 40 hours of community involvement are needed in order to earn the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. A list of eligible and non-eligible activities are listed on the Ministry of Education website or on our Gonzaga website under the Guidance tab. Please note, Grade 8 students can use community hours earned during July and August of 2022. Hours are to be submitted to our Guidance Office and community involvement forms for documentation can be found on our Gonzaga website under the Guidance tab. The next part of the presentation will provide a closer look into the Grade 9 program with respect to course types, courses, and course selection. Course types for Grade 9 and 10 courses are academic, applied, locally developed, 
open, and to streamed. In a course code, the course type is denoted as D for academic, P for applied, L for locally developed, O for open, and W for distreamed. A course code is six characters. The first three letters are the subject matter. The fourth character denotes the grade. A one is grade nine courses, two, grade 10, three, grade 11, and four, grade 12. The fifth character is the course type as explained in the previous slide. The sixth character is a one to denote a day school course, or it could be an N for a summer school course. To decide which course type that would be suitable for your child in order for them to be successful, let's take a look at the skill sets. Academic courses focus on the essential concepts of the discipline and additional materials. Emphasis is on the theoretical and abstract thinking while incorporating practical applications as a basis for future learning and problem solving. A student skill set that would help ensure success in academic courses are that the student is an independent worker and follows instruction, has solid problem solving skills, is very organized, has good initiative, work ethic, can self-advocate and good time management skills. Academic courses generally lead to the pathway of university or college. Students who live beyond three. Applied course type courses focus on, is on the essential concepts of the discipline. Emphasis is on the practical concrete applications of the essential concept while incorporating theoretical elements as appropriate. Students that require tasks laid out with guides, plans, graphic organizers, or are a concrete thinker, or a hands-on learner would generally do well in the applied level courses. Applied level courses generally lead to college or apprenticeship type pathways. Grade 9 math is offered either at the distreamed or locally developed course type. Currently at Gonzaga, Grade 9 Mathematics is the only course that is offered at the Distreamed course type. Distreaming means that the students are no longer separated into the academic and applied streams. A Distreamed math class will prepare students for university, college, apprenticeship, and workplace pathways. Locally developed courses focuses on the core knowledge and skills to meet individual student needs. It's intended for a student who requires a measure of flexibility and support in order to meet the compulsory credit requirements in English, math, and science. A student who would benefit from a locally developed course type is a student that requires emphasis on learning skills, smaller class size, additional time to consolidate skills from earlier grades. Locally developed courses lead to the world of work or apprenticeship. Open courses have one set of expectations for the subject being taken and are suitable for all students and are not linked to any specific post-secondary destination. Many elective or optional credits in grade nine are at the op open course type. A student in grade nine will take six compulsory credits in their grade nine year of religious studies at the open level, English either at the academic applied or locally developed, Mathematics, distreamed or locally developed, Canadian geography at the academic or applied course type, science at the academic applied or locally developed, and French at the academic or applied. Please note that a student that is in the extended French program will take extended French and the extended French Canadian geography class. In addition to the six compulsory courses, students will take two elective or optional credits. The choices of optional credits are in the areas of drama, exploring technologies, information technology, learning strategies, music, physical education, and visual arts. A student may combine subject-specific course types. For example, a student may take Grade 9 Academic English, Grade 9 Applied Science, and grade nine to streamed math. So which course type should my child choose? Please consult with your grade eight teacher to assess the academic performance and their recommendations, and please consider your child's skill set. The grade nine registration for our feeder school students will begin in December. 
Registration packages will be delivered to the feeder schools in December and details will be provided to your son or daughter's grade 8 teacher as to when the registration packages are due back to Gonzaga. Registration for open access students, please visit the Gonzaga website in January for details on the registration process. The registration package will include grade 9 course calendar, information on transportation and the McCarthy uniform, in addition a course selection form, several forms that require parent or guardian signature, and instructions for school cash online for the $65 activity fee. The course selection form will allow a student to choose their courses. Please note there is an opportunity for your son or daughter's grade 8 teacher to make a course type recommendation in the areas of English, French, Math, Science, and Geography. For extended French students, the program requirement is to take extended French and extended French geography. The sixth character in the course code, the letter F, denotes extended French courses. In addition for students choosing their six compulsory courses, the course selection forum will ask students to rank three choices for optional or elective credits. The third choice is needed in the event your son or daughter's first two choices cannot be scheduled in their timetable. Students will continue to use My Blueprint in high school to support their individual pathway plan. Once a student's registration package has been complete, students will then be asked to submit their courses into their My Blueprint account in their high school planner. Every student is assigned a guidance counselor to help support them with their individual pathway plan. The beginning letter of your last name dictates who is your guidance counselor. If your surname begins with the letters A through to C, your guidance counselor would be Mr. Eagles, D to G, Ms. Dravasevic, H to M E, Ms. Santon, M I to Q, Mr. Curry, and R to Z, Ms. Sonata. We also have two guidance secretaries, Ms. Gomes and Ms. Roman. Gonzaga support staff comprises of guidance counselors, administrators, resource teachers, child and youth workers, social worker, and a school psychologist. How can you contact your guidance counselor? Please visit the St. Aloysius Gonzaga website and under the guidance course tab, you will find our guidance Google form. The guidance Google form can be used to ask any questions you may have, request a meeting, or to upload documents. Please note, to access the Guidance Google Form, you must use a Dufferin Peel Catholic District School Board student email account. For all non dufferin Peel students, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact the Guidance Department directly by phone. Where to find course or school information? Please visit the Gonzaga website, our Twitter account, My Blueprint, or contact your Gonzaga Guidance Counselor. Prior to COVID, and anticipating that in September 2022, Gonzaga may offer courses on a half-year basis. Four subjects from September to January, four subjects from February to June. All subjects are taken daily for the semester. School begins at 8.20 and ends at 2.18. There are four blocks or periods in a day where each block is approximately 75 minutes long. Students will have a 40-minute lunch. The expectation of all Gonzaga students is that religious studies is taken every year, participation in school liturgies and retreats, and to abide by the school uniform. Gonzaga is home to several regional programs such as the Extended French Program, Career Path, and the ASD Diploma Support Program. I will now introduce you to Ms. Cipriano, the Academic Resource Department Head, to speak about these regional programs and support for students with an individual education plan. Hello, my name is Amy Cipriano and I am the Academic Resource Department Head at Gonzaga. I am responsible for academic resource and special education programming. There are a number of supports that are provided for all students at Gonzaga. This includes academic resource, the ASD Diploma Support Program, and mainstream classes. An academic resource support teacher has a number of responsibilities. This includes developing and maintaining IEPs, monitoring student performance and progress in their courses, encouraging and supporting access to accommodations, 
overseeing student work and assessments in our resource room. An academic resource support teacher also facilitates communication between students, teachers, and parents, works together with the school team to support student achievement and well being, schedules meetings to address student education planning and transition planning. In grade nine, students with IEPs have the option to take GLE, a learning strategies course. This course introduces students with an IEP to learning theories and strategies and prepares them to become effective independent learners. This includes learning skills, academic support, exam preparation, personal management skills such as time management and organization, interpersonal skills, exploration of opportunities, and IEP support. I highly recommend students coming into grade nine at Gonzaga with IEPs consider taking GLE. At Gonzaga, we house a regional program, the ASD Diploma Support Program. Students are referred to this program through a central referral process, which is facilitated by a school team and family of schools special education consultant in collaboration with the school administration, parents, and the student. This program is designed for students who have a diagnosis of autism and are identified as exceptional in the area of communication. Students are placed in this special education program through the identification placement and review committee process. I look forward to working with our grade eight students as they prepare for secondary school. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Cipriano. The last part of this presentation will highlight the opportunities for students to get involved outside of their academics. In the area of Gonzaga Athletics, several sports are offered at different times of the school year. Fall sports such as girls football, girls basketball, boys volleyball, cross country, boys football and tennis. Winter sports such as girls and boys hockey, boys basketball, girls volleyball, wrestling, curling, and swimming. Soccer, track and field, baseball, softball, badminton, lacrosse, tennis are a few of the spring sports that have been offered. In addition to athletics, Gonzaga has offered several different types of clubs, such as band, Black Empowerment Association, chaplaincy, chess, choir, culinary, dance, DECA, Dignity, Gonzaga Players, Green Scene, HOSA, Junior Leaders, Law Society, the Modern Language Club, Photography, Prefix, the Robotics Club, Safe at Gonzaga, Science STEM, United Nations, Yearbook, ZagaCon, and ZagaCon Cultural. This concludes our Grade 8 Information Night presentation. On behalf of the Gonzaga staff, I would like to thank you for your time and look forward to meeting our future Gonzaga students.